other than, uh, than my family. I can't, I don't think there's anything else that means any more to me than, than South Carolina. I have always seen with him a passion for this state, uh, a love of this state, and uh, he was always, at least with me, a very effective advocate for job creation. Dwight's family comes from Anderson, South Carolina, and uh, his heritage is farming. But when farming didn't pay any longer, they moved down to Spartanburg, South Carolina, where his dad went to work in the mills. There was a lot of commonality uh, between Dwight Drake and Justin Williams. He grew up in a rural area. Uh, he grew up farming, uh, working with his father, uh, cleaning out septic tanks. You know, believe it or not, uh, my father had a, uh, a septic tank and, and drain line business. So. Uh, church, work, uh, school, uh, and we had a we had really had an idyllic childhood. We used to go down to the gas station, and a fella that owned the gas station told him, "Get your education, son," and he did. I graduated in 1967. And at that time, of course, the, the Vietnam War was in uh, full swing. And I actually volunteered and uh, went to Vietnam in uh, September of 1968. And I learned to live with um, and work with and be on the team with people from all sorts of different backgrounds. I think those experiences that he has uh, throughout his life allows him to re relate to pretty much everyone. While I was in law school, I volunteered to get involved in the John West for Governor campaign. And he gave me a job as his law clerk, and uh, I became involved in the legislative process. It was a time of great racial tension in South Carolina. And John was a very calming uh, influence and moved this state forward at a very difficult time. And one of the things that did that, that helped do that, was the creation of the State Human Affairs Commission, uh, the passage of that legislation that I was involved in. And uh, my friend Jim Clyburn was appointed to be the executive director. I went to work for Governor Riley in uh, 1979. Uh, headed up his uh, transition team and agreed to, to handle legislative responsibilities because that's what I had done a good deal of with, for Governor West and what I enjoyed doing and what I was good at. And his priorities uh, while he was governor was education and education and education. What was at stake was siphoning off money for public education. We came together and developed a coalition that we named uh, Choose Children First. And we worked together uh, in the legislature to defeat that proposal. It was exciting. It was an exciting victory because I, I think a whole lot of people thought it wasn't possible. In the field of education, we don't need uh, more competition, we need, we need more collaboration. We need teachers and parents collaborating together and not competing with one another. The Republican governor is expected to sign a request for 700 million bucks in federal stimulus funds any minute now, all because a teenager named Casey Edwards sued to force the governor to accept the money and she won. The money will now go primarily to cash-strapped schools in the state. Casey Edwards wound up coming to me I got my law firm to agree to handle this case on a pro bono basis. I think that Mr. Drake was involved with the lawsuit because he has a heart for students in South Carolina. He really cared about the fact that there was funding that wasn't going to go to our students that they deserved. Now, a lot of people were doing talking. You know, they said, well, it's not right. You know, he should take the money. But only Dwight Drake said, what can we do to make sure these fundings this fund that comes to the state of South Carolina. I'm living proof that a better education means a better job. He does worry about the future of South Carolina, uh, whether there will be uh, good jobs. First of all, Dwight was there at the beginning in helping to recruit us to the state when we wanted to expand our facilities. 
and add a lot of jobs to the state. Dwight was, was the go-to man, and he helped to not only craft and get uh, the necessary legislation written, he also helped get it through the General Assembly. The best thing that ever happened in my life uh, was the parents that I had. They, the, the best thing that ever happened in my adult life was marrying Beth. Dwight is a devoted father. He is very loving. He's really more of a nurturer than I am. What I would love to be able to communicate on this about Dwight is um, stature and integrity. And, and those are the things, that there is a strength and authenticity in him that I admire. He has a heart for people. The white Drake truly has a heart for people. Again, not in words, but in his actions. A country pre preacher said one time, love is what love does. Obviously, the white Drake loves the state of South Carolina by all the things that he's done over the years. I'm Dwight Drake. We need to get South Carolina working again because the past eight years have been wasted. And South Carolina is now first in unemployment in the entire South. Mark Sanford made a lot of news when he disappeared, but he's been AWOL on jobs since the day he took office. I know from my experience working with Governors John West and Dick Riley, who made creating jobs their priority, and I know from my experience working to bring BMW to South Carolina, what it takes to create good paying jobs in our state. The first thing a governor should do when he wakes up in the morning is think, what can I do today to bring good jobs to South Carolina? And the last thing he should do at night is ask himself, did I do enough today on jobs? It takes stable leadership in the state and it takes quality education. But Mark Sanford hasn't done any of that. The only job Mark Sanford cares about is his own job and he sure hasn't provided stable leadership. My mother and father taught me always to tell the truth and do my best. Well, the truth is we're not doing our best in South Carolina. That's why I've decided to run for governor. I hope you will think about these issues and join me in getting South Carolina working again.